it's Courtney I am out here in the lovely Sun um, it is nice and warm for the most part it is a little bit chilly um, I don't have my tripod it's out in the maternity ward so I'm trying to use my window but it points upwards too much um, I also have grain in the back that I'm trying to make so I've got miss Holly and Feline wanting what I'm making so um, anyways I just wanted to come on here it's one girls and show you how I make my grain um, so I just purchase a bag of alfalfa pellets uh, a bag of goat feed and two bags of um, black oil sunflower seeds I'll show you what I get and then I basically just Buck, or scoop out my ratios and then put it into a concrete mixer. Um, that's what this is here. So I got this off of a local Facebook group um, and it had never been used. It was built, but it was built incorrectly. Um, and then I had my husband fix it. Um, and then this is what we use. So it's small, um, the handle right here that sticks out this direction to like lift it and move it. Got broke off this winter, um, unfortunately. But uh, the other handle right here works. So um, I will show you how I mix my grain uh, currently. I'm sure this will change in the future, depending on what I end up getting. Um, if I end up moving towards a already pre-mixed grain, um, I just have to figure out my feed costs. But currently this is what I do to make sure my girls have um, all the nutrition that they need. So I will show you what I do. Okay, so this is kind of the system that I have set up. I've got a bucket at the bottom that I pour this into. This has already been mixed for the most part, but um, it does still look like it needs to be mixed just a little bit more. So I will um, give this a quick mix here. I've got the button on the side that I just lift and it turns and it mixes the grain. So I used to do this by hand in buckets, but I found this is a whole lot easier. Um, so this is what I've got. Um, I am getting low on the grain that I have um, to put in here. So it, there's quite a few alfalfa pellets, but I'll show you what I do. This is my black oil sunflower seed. So that's what, I use for um, the fat and protein and then alfalfa pellets um, just the Stan Lee alfalfa pellets and then we have a North 40 here so I use the country companion goat feed I also use the Purina goat feed as well um, it just kind of depends on what's cheaper at the time and what they have in stock so um, I use this, it is uh, more of a molasses type feed. So there is going to be some sweetness to it. It is basically like a sweet feed. So that's what I use. And basically what I do is I do one scoop of, oops, hold on, let me flip my phone. Okay, that was upside down, I realized. Um, I do, one scoop of alfalfa pellets to two scoops of that to one scoop of um, black oil sunflower seeds. And I just keep doing that ratio. I pour that into this bucket and then I pour the bucket into that. And then once it's mixed, I pour it into here and then I pour this into my big bin inside. I got girls that want are acting like they're starving. Ok, 
Get your nose away. There we go. Okay, so once everything is mixed, it gets put into my big old drum here. And that is about, I would say halfway filled. So that's with basically one bag of alfalfa pellets, one bag of the goat feed, and two bags of black oil sunflower seeds. So you can see what I do for my mix. It's nice and I mean, they love it. So um, all those black oil sunflower seeds also keep their coat super nice and shiny. And um, I do usually supplement also with a goat, dairy goat grain, um, but they just didn't have any in stock when we went. So we just got this. I usually will try to mix that within it also. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like and um, they do really well on it. So yes, so this with their um, alfalfa hay, fresh water, they keep on the weight that they need. Uh, they don't get too fat and they are nice and healthy skin coat, all that good stuff. So yeah, that's how I do that. Let's go so see. now the ladies can pick up all the stuff that I spilt. Um, I did spill a little bit. So they'll go through and eat all that up. Good mamas. And everybody's looking really even on their udders. I did do a little bit of a milking out this morning to get all the extra. Um, so everyone's nice and even. And then while we're out here and it's such a nice day, I will kind of show you around here. Um, Americano is loving life. A weirdo. Anybody ever see a goat roll? That's normal for him. He loves to roll. I have no idea why. You goofy boy. You goofy! Yes, you are goofy. Okay, so in, this is the dough pen. So inside the dough pen, we have all of my yearlings. Um, and we, we, me, I have decided to go ahead and breed for fall kids. So basically what that means is we have Americano. So this is Twin Pairs Majestic Americano. Oh my goodness. Um, and with all the yearlings, so this right here is Penny. Um, that over there is Dancer. And then we have Astrid, Revna, and Freya. So um, these were, they're technically my keeper dollings from last year. Um, I had never intended on keeping Freya. She was supposed to go to a new home, um, but that just ended up not working out since she had severed that nerve. But she's doing great on it. You can't even tell anymore. So she will find a new home. She is the sweetest little girl ever. So sweet. Um, her mom is Feline, who is the skittish one of my bunch, but... Um, yeah, she is nothing like her mother. And this little girl is adorable too. This is a boutonniere daughter. Um, I borrowed um, a doe last year from a friend to hopefully get a daughter out of her. But she didn't get pregnant while she was here. So um, we had to kind of improvise. Anyways, I was given the opportunity to take her home. So I didn't need her. I don't need her, but I'll take her. <laughs> so we'll see how she does um, on our program here. And so nobody has been bred yet, but we are going to be basically kidding out for late 
January or late July. <laughs> Gosh darn. Late July, early August is when we will be kidding. So Americano's got some some ladies to take care of. I'm excited to see what he looks like this year too. I think he's gonna mature into a very nice boy. At least that's what we hope. You guys are all so friendly. Yes. I'd let you out, but I really don't want to let him out. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I will let everybody out. Let y'all run. Stretch the legs. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I could sit out here all day long. They're my pretty girls. My pretty girls. Okay. Well, you ladies have a good day. You, Mr. Gentleman, have a good day. He's so awesome. Oh my gosh, I love him. And then over here in the buck pen, I have dreamer she wants out she always wants out she never wants to be in a pen mr. boutonniere so they will hopefully do well together um, dreamer was supposed to kid with everybody else but she decided that she didn't want to get pregnant so here we go we're gonna try one more time she's a beautiful girl I love her she's so long I really see a improvement um, in Utter against her dam. I really want her to do really well, but I won't be able to put her through milk testing as I don't want to be doing that in the winter. So yeah, I don't really know what we're going to do with you. You're kind of on my my naughty list yes you are sweetheart and then in with boutonniere she's hiding um, way back there that is starlet um, I am leasing her to hopefully retain a kid but here we are still not pregnant but I know you can do your job yeah boutonniere's getting up there in age I need to get some copper in him. That's my next job is to go ahead and trim and copper and give everybody selenium and all that. Um, but he's getting up there in age. He's eight, turning in nine, I think. Um, so, but he can definitely get his job done because he's got quite a few kids on the ground for me this year. So let's go see the babies. Okay, so we got some kids out here. So we got two of Sassy's daughters. And then over there, we have Twilight's Buckling and Feline's kids along with Holly's Doe. And then the other two sassy daughters are back at the maternity ward. It's pretty little girls.
puppy little kids.